Uh, we're backstage at the uh, 2011 Mayhem Festival. I'm with uh, Shannon and Sully from Godsmack. Guys, how's the uh, tour going so far? Going great. It's only a couple of days into it, but it's good. This is like, is this show three? Is that what we said? Yep, show three. Getting our legs under us. Got our best legs. We're good. So, do, do you think that the uh, best shows are at the beginning of a tour or at the end of the tour? The end. Damn it! I didn't want to hear that. What do you think, Shannon? Well, you know... Uh, by the end of the first week, we, we start to probably understand our set list best and all that. The first couple shows are always exciting because, you know, errors happen, and that makes it human. But he's right. By the end of the tour, we're like, we, you know, you're not even thinking anymore, so you yeah. can really just pound it out. Yeah, you just so, auto-drive. But it'll still be, it'll still be kick-ass. Don't worry. Uh, I mean, I did, the end of the tour, it's just because I'm going home. That's why it's better for me. <laughs> no, I can appreciate that. Um, I'd ask you, I'd ask you highlights, but uh, you know, you've only had a few dates under. Uh, you know what I was thinking? It feels like every summer, Godsmack is coming to town, and I, you know. I guess a respectable journalist would have researched when the last time you had a summer off, but uh, when is the last time you guys had a, just a summer off to kick it? We actually took a couple years off not too long ago. Right before the Oracle record was written, we we didn't tour for two years. We did one one uh, tour during the summer of whatever it was, 09 or something like that, or 10. But um, we, we took off from like 2007 through 2009 pretty clean. We didn't do anything. God, it, it legitimately feels like I see you guys every summer because you guys are a hard, a hard-working, kick-ass band. Um, now I saw you guys were. Was it last Friday? You guys were in Vegas. Yep. How does Godsmack do Vegas? Um, well, we actually played Mandalay Beach. We played on a stage inside the pool. <laughs> that is sick. That was pretty cool. How was that? Pretty rad. It was great. It, I mean, it was pouring rain, and nobody really cared because they're standing in three feet of water. You yeah. know. A lot of bikinis, I bet, huh? Yeah. There was a lot of drunk people, and it was a lot of fun. Vegas is always fun. It's just a great, great place to hang out, and there's tons of stuff to do. There's always good food, and, you know, just a lot of fun there. So, for us, it's like... Now, do you guys get a chance? I mean, you, obviously, you're playing. Do you get a chance to tear it up a little bit, or...? Well, you know, we threw cover songs in the set, and, you know, did we just... I mean, outside the show, do you guys get a tear down Vegas? Yeah, I don't know. He, you know, he plays some poker, so... He's probably the man to ask for that. I I, I just I, re, I drank beer with Sully's sister in the bar. Nice. Now I uh, you know what doesn't Steel Panther plays every Friday down oh, in Vegas, isn't it? Two, uh, what is it? Fr- is it it's Friday? Monday, yeah, Mondays in the L.A. House and Blues. Then, yeah. No Tuesdays at the House of Blues in L.A. Or is it Mondays? It's Mondays. It's Mondays, and then uh, and I think Friday. it's Fridays in Vegas. Yeah, and that's where we were staying at Mandalay Bay. They were playing right after we were done. They were letting people in with their ticket stubs from Godsmack, but I just didn't have uh, the energy for that. So. Dude, uh, I, I'm just a world-renowned Steel Panther fan. I mean, uh, if you can describe them in a word, it's fun. And I think I actually saw a vi- you. You actually got up and sang with them once, a didn't you? Times, yeah. I played drums with them, and I liked them better when they were metal school. Honestly, did you? Yeah. Now they're a little bit corporate for me. Well, you know, they're trying to make a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it, it was getting a little too big at one point, so I think you got to keep them in the small places. It's really yeah. Cool. Um, now, what bands were you guys uh, maybe starting this tour, maybe not familiar with as much, that since you've been on this tour, again, just for a hand, you know, a couple dates, that has kind of blown you away? Well, you know, seeing, I'd never seen Disturbed before. You know. Really? Yeah, it's, it's just, I just never saw them, and... So I was very impressed by Disturbed, you know, Megadeth I'd probably seen, but 20 years ago. And so it was my first time seeing Sean Drover play the drums, and they was solid as a rock. They're impressive. Uh, Machine Heads are another legendary thrash band, been around for 20 years probably. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of good response on Machine Head for sure. Yeah, they're brutal, and drummer Dave McLean's great, great player, great double bass player. And so, you know, I, I haven't seen In Trivium or In Flames yet, but they're over on the side stage right now. But, yeah, but no, they're great. They're going to start coming back over here so we can check them out. So. What about you, Sully? Same same deal? I haven't watched anybody. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of this tour, I, I read uh, I read somewhere that even though, you know, even though Godsmack has sold over 7 million albums. 7? A lot more than that. Is it? Yeah. Dude, I'm 15, a- knucklehead. <sighs> even though Godsmack has only has, uh, sold over 15 million albums, that... <laughs> Uh, you hold guys, on, hold on. 
Click. Edit that out. No, no, or you're we, we just edit it. Ready? Now stop. Click. <laughs> uh, Even though Godsmack <laughs> has sold over 15 million albums, uh, <laughs> that you guys were looking at Mayhem as a proving ground. Did I read that right? I, 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 don't, I missed the question. I'm still, I'm still, in, you know, oh, you're still, I'm still offended. In yeah. I know. Uh, I, I read somewhere that you guys were looking at Mayhem as a proving ground for the band. A proving ground? What does that? that mean? I read that on your website. What does that mean? Proving ground. We're trying to prove ourselves or something. I don't know. That, that's. I don't know who would have said that. I mean, I don't know what that means, so I can't comment on it because I don't know what it means. Next question. I don't want to assume. So the the next question is: So if you guys feel like you've proven yourselves? <laughs> <laughs> No, not at all. We're still we're still uh, coming out of our sophomore slump. <laughs> uh, besides besides Boston, what, what what are the dates that you you circle the calendar for that you're stoked to, stoked to play? It doesn't you don't have to kiss our ass with ACL or anything, but well, you know, I, I always enjoy Cincinnati. Always have since way before this band. I just have friends there. Mostly, I think you know all the crowds are pretty lively and and seem to be great in this country. But you know. I find myself looking forward to the towns where I have good friends, you know. Yeah. Since any being one, what about you, Sully? Anywhere but Washington State. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. I want to get out of here, too.